See if I can break it. Is that okay, Stu? All right, preferably not. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> Trevor, what have you done? G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, it's time to put this bad boy to the test. This is the B Flight 200, and, or B Flight 210, I should say. And if you haven't seen my part one review, definitely I'll leave a link up here. Go and check that if, out if you're interested, because at the time, this drone was like 150 or 160 bucks. The time's come. What do you actually get for your money? Let's take it out, rip it around, because this thing has some serious good points to it, and I would have killed for a drone like this. So we're going to take it out to the field. I'll show you guys some HD footage. We'll rip it around, and we'll also hand it over to Grumpy Trev and see just what he thinks. You know, is this a great beginner drone? Because it definitely is pretty cheap, so a good way to get into the market. All right, let's uh, cut out to the field, and let's do it in three, two, one. All righty, out here in the field, about to rip it around. We're in a new spot, which I'm pretty excited about. So we're going to be flying around with the B Flight uh, 210. And for a cheap quad, I think it's going to rip it pretty well. So what we'll do, I'll show you some HD footage, and then we'll also hand it over to Grumpy Trev and see what he thinks as well. All right, let's do it. Okie dokie, here we go, ready to rock and roll. Now, uh, quick little disclaimer, this is actually a week later, because right after I filmed that other bit, my GoPro decided to have a hissy fit, or that's what we say in Australia anyway. It decided to, it decided to stop working, so we had to go out the next week, so the following week, and set up a similar track and rip it around. But we're still on board with the B-Flight 200 or 210, and uh, it is absolutely ripping for a great for a quad that's so cheap it's absolutely crazy how quick it can get around this course now one of the best things about drone racing is nowadays it's more accessible than ever and you don't need the best of the best drones to actually win races like i think i'm versing there's a talon racing around this track and also a chameleon as well and uh with my skills versus some of those other guys and look trev and uh calvin definitely aren't novice pilots at all but if you've got the skills you can push this very cheap quad very, very fast. Look, it feels really stable in the air. I think we just overtook the chameleon there. It feels really stable in the air, and it's also got some pretty good acceleration. And I love how it just works so well out of the box. And I, I think for the price, honestly, you really can't go wrong with getting something like this. I would like a little bit more camera protection because I do worry about that in a crash. If you hit some flags or anything like that, but if you're looking to get into the hobby, I honestly think this is a massive step in the right direction and also a good backup racer as well. Anyway, what we should do, we should hand it over to Grumpy Trev and see just what he thinks of it. All right, you grumpy old man. What do you reckon? It's all right. A little bit compact. You're not a fan? You wish there was more space? Oh, look, just a little bit more space. We have to mount the uh, receiver on the back, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, just see how it goes. It looks good. This has got potential to really fly all right, so we'll give it a go. Yeah, look. For 150 bucks, if this looks as good as what it's going to fly, or it flies as good as what it looks, ah, that's what it's supposed to say. If it flies as good as it looks, it's going to be a good buy. We'll give it a go and see what happens. See if I can break it. Is that okay, Stu? All right, well, preferably not, but sure. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, let's do it. They've got all this, uh, the OSD, everything's turned on. It's but we can turn it off, so that's not a big deal, but what a pain in the ass. All right, let's see. It. We'll get up in the air and see what happens. Yep. It's got plenty of grunt. I like it already it's responsive it turns pretty quick how much was it 150 yeah <laughs> i can't believe how much this is do you think that's better than the wizard oh this is all over the wizard like not not the new wizard which we had some issues with with the old wizard oh bit. yeah this is fast it's, it's more way more maneuverable than the wizard uh -oh. Oh, but, oh well this will be good <laughs> <laughs> trevor what have you done you said you were gonna break it what have you done well just see how strong these are. <laughs> no damage. Uh, no bring it over. Bring it, that, bring it over, Calvin. That's from the top of this tree, yeah. which is a decent fall. What do we got? We've lost the GoPro mount. Okay, well, that yeah, honest. that actually didn't come with a GoPro yeah. mount. Uh, the camera's slightly out of place, but that looks like it was missing some screws in the first place. But the frame's in good shape. No, nothing's broken. Just the screws out there. That's no big deal. It did fly really good. Well, let's fix it up. Let's uh, keep ripping we'll it. have another go. Here, you got to fix that, bend that prop bend back that prop up. a bit. <laughs> Didn't even break a prop. Look at that. So if you, if you guys are snappy viewers, I don't know if this is going to come up, but we're missing a screw out of the HS1177 in right there. I'm going to see if I can push it back in. Yeah, no, it's only, this she, one's still oh, there. She's trying to fix my f*** up. Yeah, I don't know if I have a little spare screw though, but that's all we're missing at the moment. One yeah. little screw. The only thing wrong I can find with that, it hasn't got uh, tree avoidance built in. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come See, on. now the camera's going to be shaky if we don't get that extra yeah, screw Yeah, we'll find back. a screw. We'll have something there. All right. So uh, with about a two-second repair, we did have a little spare screw that we put right inside just here after Trevor, you know, smashed it. Let's do it. Let's do take two, see how it flies. Yeah. We might want to re-bend some of these props we'll just up. Just turn the uh, tree avoidance system back on now. Yep. All right, let's do it. All right, take two, Trevor. Is it going to even take off? Too easy. All right. Oh, you know what it was? It was that shit OSD distracting me. Get out. You're just making excuses. Yeah. All right, talk to me. How's this thing fly? It's still flying good after that tree got in the way. So we shouldn't have any. You better hope not, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how does it feel in the air? For 150 bucks or 160 uh, bucks, whatever look, it is. I'd buy one. They're just, well, I tell you what, they're strong. This is uh, very maneuverable. What about if you're looking to get into the hobby and you want a pre-built quad? Would you recommend this one? Yeah, absolutely. Look out of the box. This flies really nice. The uh, video is uh, really good. Hardly any dropouts at all. And this one has that unique uh, antenna sticking way up higher than, than most, most of them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's a funny looking thing, isn't it? Actually, the reception's like, I'll take it down the back, see how we go here. It's a river down there, so we might not see this quite again. Trevor's way out behind that little bush, way out, way out there. You, yeah, I'm right in front of you too, so come back. No, you're going to lose it. There we go. Look at that. Oh, you're still good? I oh, was surprised. I thought it would have dropped out. It's just a little bit of a splat, but that's about it. But shit, this thing's fast for what it is. Really made for upgrades too, yeah. You could stick a nice set of red bottoms on this or something to get a bit more stick out of it. It really does handle well. Very surprised, actually, for the dollars. Actually, I've had a lot of fun with this. Look, you could do a lot worse than this. This is good value. All right, so after you've crashed it and flown around for a little bit, give it a, a grumpy Trev rating out of 10. I really think this is worth a seven. Good value for money. Oh, seven and a half. Just flies well, out of the box. This is just great. It is shit up to fly. For, you know, I'm talking about a cheap quad here. For a cheap quad, this is really good value. Okay, here's a good one. Is that the best cheap quad you've ever flown? Uh, yeah, I'd have to say yes. Yep, for sure. Surprisingly, it doesn't look cheap, really. The how it comes set up, there's a lot of features on the OSD you need to turn off because it's got those stupid bloody horizon bars on there which aren't worth jack when you're flying low. And uh, the little ones up the side as well. It's a bit of crap you can turn off. It's got way too much switched on, which is easy, look, really easy to turn off. So it's not really an issue, but it's got an OSD, which is great. Look, I like it, really do like it. Really nice to fly, great value. Just look how strong these things look. Well, we know it's strong because it, how high you're in the tree is. Yeah, how high is that, Calvin? 45, 50 feet. There you go. And I survived that or did was bend a couple of props. Oh, and we lost that screw in the camera. Oh, yeah, we lost the screw out of the camera, but uh, no big deal. I'm a fan. Definitely a fan. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Trev. Alrighty, so there it is. There's my part two review of the B Flight 210. And overall, I think for the money, these bite and flies that are coming out nowadays are absolutely amazing. Like the technology is becoming so cheap and accessible. And it's just absolutely crazy just the sort of performance you get for, for something so cheap like this. I mean, for 150 bucks, you definitely can't go wrong. So if you want like a backup racer or, you know, you just want something that can really rip around and you don't have to build, that's super cheap. This is definitely a step in the right direction. This is a great, fantastic step in the right direction. Probably the only thing to be mindful of, I really am not a fan of the camera too much. It is exposed at the front, so in an in unlucky crash, you're probably going to be breaking it. Even though Trev tried his hardest and we didn't have any, uh, you know, he didn't actually break it, so that was pretty good but yeah overall I think it's a, a fantastic little quad and if I was going to upgrade it in one little way as well as that camera uh, I would probably be putting some bigger motors on here or at least some more powerful ones because I think if you did that this thing would be an absolute monster because it's so light and with a really really top end motor on here this thing would absolutely rip anyway hope you guys like that subscribe for more FPV related content and as always happy flying uh -oh. Oh, oh well this will be good <laughs> Trevor, what have you done? You said you were going to break it. What have you done? Well, just see how strong these are. <laughs> no damage. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.